On the open market, gold pans can fetch thousands of dollars, but to players and families, they are priceless. People will send us stuff like that and we'll blow it up. I you know what I mean? Like that, yeah. yeah, that was from last year. Hope Bourne knows a thing or two about the rivalry between the Buckeyes and that team up north. She and husband Mike were student athletes at Michigan, but their sons, Jacoby, Zach, and Justin, ditched the maize and blue for the scarlet and gray. It works well. I mean, we respect both programs a lot. We love the game of football, so we kind of just put our minds into the fact that it's a great rivalry, it's the Big Ten. And with that many sons suiting up for the Buckeyes, Hope has what no other current parent has, nine pairs of gold pants. A tenth pair rests on Saturday showdown in Ann Arbor. I actually have seven of them. I only wear them on game day. Uh, Justin's wife has a pair and Jacoby's fiance has a pair. And ultimately, they'll, they'll have them all. It was 81 years ago when Coach Francis Schmidt said Michigan players put their pants on one leg at a time, same as everybody. Those comments gave birth to the Gold Pants Club, which has issued 41 pairs since 1934. Some businessmen heard about, you know, beating them and putting your pants on one leg at a time, so they decided to come up with a pair of gold pants to, you know, to kind of celebrate or, or to commemorate that, that victory. Jim Lachey, a former Buckeye All-American, currently leads the club today. He says players have always been encouraged to give the pants to their moms. Give your first pair to your mother. If you were lucky enough to win a second pair, give it to a sister or somebody, uh, you know, you really care about. This is a piece of copper. Obviously, we have a piece of metal that is on here. We have a stamping press that stamps down on it. The pants have been made by the same family here in Columbus since pants. 1982. Last okay. season, more than 200 so pair were awarded Michigan. to coaches, players, and supporting staff. Okay. It's a time-consuming uh, job, but you know what? It's, it's fun. I'm the guy that actually puts all the initials and numbers on it. Of course, the Buckeyes got to get the win before Cariote can do his job. It's a game that will be Hope Bourne's last as a Buckeye parent, a ride she will never forget. The things Coach Meyer has brought to the program for the families and the way he supports them, amazing. During this year's Buckeye Cruise for Cancer, a collection of all 41 pairs of gold pants was auctioned off. It went for $225,000. In the newsroom, Candace Lee, NBC4.